Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use this nice set of preloader animations into your own website. You can see that this set of animations named loaders.css, you can find these all preloader animations into this link, conorathartoncom slash loaders. And this is a link provided by one of my viewer who asked me to create a step by step video to add these kind of preloaders into your own website. You can see that here he has asked me to create a video on loaders.css how it works. So that's why I have created this video. And if you have also any suggestions for my upcoming video, you can simply comment below in the comment section and I will make a video on that. So that's being said. Let's go ahead and see how to use this loaders.css into your own project. First of all, navigate to this link here, github.com slash conorathartoon slash loaders.css. And you're going to find this link here to download this uh, into your own local system. So either you can use git clone command to, to clone this into your own local PC or you can download it by simply clicking on this download link. So let me copy this link and navigate to this console here and let me type git clone uh, let's go back okay. let's type git clone and paste the link here that i have copied from here and it will clone this whole project into my own local system here you can see that lotus.css is downloaded into my own folder loaders.css so here you can see that the directory structure of loaders.css and we need three things from here let's copy this demo directory second one this loaders.css and third one is loaders.css.js copy all of this and go back and create a folder named preloader enter and paste it here now i am gonna open this directory as a project file folder into my text editor and sure enough we can see that all of our files here now open this demo.html file and you're gonna see all of the animations good now let's minimize it why we are uh, using this demo.html we need this file to see the names of all of the animations that are being used and the animations that we can use into our own projects so let's close it for now close this file also and create a new file called index.html and create a basic html document uh, see index.html and create a basic HTML document and let's name loaders CSS. Okay. Now let's link our CSS file here. So create a link tag and link, link the CSS file which is loaders.css and create a script tag direct above the closing body tag. So create a script tag and provide the source which is loaders.css.js all right now let's go ahead and create the markup for our animations well where do i get the markup you can get the markup simply from this demo.html file let's say i want to use this animation called ball scale ripple multiple means multiple ripple effect so i can just copy all of this markup from here and paste it into my own body tag hit save and your file index.html you gonna see nothing actually the thing that is happening here is that our we cannot see our animation due to the white background so let's change the background go ahead and create a style tag and create a body element set its background color to let's go with something like this okay now you can see that your ripple effect 
preloader but this is not enough that we want we have to do lot more so um, wait till the end and continue watching this video so now there are lots of problem first one is whenever i change the name of this animation i have to use a different set of div element inside my loader inner uh, div and that's the first problem to solve this problem i can just go ahead and include this loader.css.js file including the jquery library so let's go ahead and create a source and copy the link of jquery from the cdn here you can get the link of jquery let's go with the latest version copy this link from here minimize it paste the source now remove all these divs or comment this all the loaders.css.js script will inject all the required number of divs for a particular animation for this animation ball hyphen scale hyphen ripple hyphen multiple it will include three div element inside this loader hyphen inner class so let me show you the preview let's hit refresh now you can see that sure enough if you inspect here you're gonna find three div elements already present what happened if I just go ahead and comment out this script file? Well, our animation will not work. Why? Because you cannot see the inner div elements here. You are just seeing the commented out div elements. Let's delete them all. Now hit refresh. Still, you're gonna see nothing here. But as soon as I remove the comment and load the script uh, file, hit refresh you are gonna see your animation and all the necessary divs are automatically injected so what I can do here I can just simply change the name of the animation and all of the divs are automatically will injected so let's see I wanna use a different animation let's say I wanna use this one ball spin fade loader copy the name of the uh, class name of the animation go to your index.html file and replace it with this ball spin fade loader and you can see that it has how many of divs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you don't have to worry about inserting all of these uh, divs by yourself this loaders.css.js file will do it automatically for you save it and hit refresh and you wanna see a different set of animation now the problem is that you cannot see that animation properly centered into your viewport well we can fix it by simply applying a, a css rule to our loader wrapper so let's write position fixed let's set its top uh, to 50 percent and right oh sorry left to 50 percent now i think we should see our animation into the middle of our screen sure enough and you can also notice that all of the divs are automatically get inserted and this is the magic of this script uh, file so now this is how we can use these animations into our own web pages but wait a minute how will i do insert it so that it is automatically hidden when all of the contents are loaded into my page well you can simply do it by injecting some of your custom script so let's create a script tag and first of all I want to have some dummy content here into my web page so I can just simply go ahead and write some content here so I'm gonna paste the link for my own videos as a dummy content so let's hit save and see the link you wanna see both the content and this animation at the same time but we don't want these kind of thing we want the content 
we want this preloader only displayed until our content gets loaded so to do that i can simply go ahead and write a script custom script here let's do it first with jquery so write document dot ready create a function like this and inside here first of all let's hide all of our content to hide the content i can use the jquery selector let's write main and i want to hide it so simply use the hide function and it, it will hide our content you can see that the preview here let's refresh and you wanna see that our content is hidden now let's go ahead and write a selector window dot on and load we're gonna create a function as soon as our content gets load we will first hide our preloader to hide the preloader i can just use this class loader and set it to hide and then we can show our content by writing uh, main then show function hit save and now hit control f5 to clear the cache and refresh the page at the same time you wanna see that our preloader is displaying properly and the uh, after the content is loaded completely the preloader gets hidden that's what we wanted let's refresh again sure enough our preloader is working properly so this was the nice step to include all those animations into your own web page let's change the name of this animation from wall spin to pacman hit save now you can see that your animation is changed let's go with something else copy the name of animations from here let's uh, let's call ball grid b let's go ahead and change the name of our animation yeah that's working so this was the very simple way to include these kind of preloaders into your own web page so guys i have told you that i will show you two different methods and this was the only first method by using jquery what if you don't want to use the jquery into your website and this loader.css.js you can just simply comment all of this stuff from here these all stuff in this case we have to manually write all of the div elements here like this now your animation should work properly but there will be one problem you can see both content and the preloader at the same time but we don't want this let's use our custom javascript plain javascript first of all to hide the content target the main element to target the main element i can write document dot get element by elements by tag name and let's find the main tag and set its first element style to display property none so it will hide our main content now let's go ahead and add an event listener to our window object when all of the content loaded we will display this main element and hide our preloader so let's add an event listener so to do that write window dot add event listener load event let's create a function and let's go ahead and write copy this whole element and set its display property from none to block that's it and select our preloader by writing document sorry document dot query mm, selector and loaders class dot and set its style property to display again 
none this is kind of short way yeah i know you can improve this script a lot but for this demo it's quite fine let's hit save now see the preview yes this is working exactly the same the only problem with this is that if ever we have to change the name of the animation from this let's say this one to anything else let's change this then we have to change the number of divs so we can simply go ahead and copy all of the divs from here and insert them manually and now our animation should work properly but I would always pre prefer the first method so let's come uh, remove the comments from here and again comment them out let's comment them all and we will see our first method oh I forget to in inject these scripts let's remove the comment from them and hit save yes it's working the same so guys if you like this video tutorial please hit like to this video and subscribe to my channel i would also recommend please check out the description for the uh, link of this source code you can find them on code pen so guys if you have any suggestions or any kind of request you can directly comment below in the comment section and thank you for watching this video guys i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye take care